What's up, everybody? Of course, my name is Michael Weir, and yeah, I'm riding shotgun because E's driving. E, say what's up. Hi. It's Batman Day. You excited about Batman? I'm Let's hyped. Go. I'm hyped. I, I didn't really get the Batman fever until about a week ago, but it's here, and I'm ready, and I can't wait. We are just, what, 45 minutes away from seeing the Batman on the big screen. I'm so excited about it. Can't wait to talk to you guys about it after the movie. Thoughts, predictions going in? Well, it's Batman, so I just want it to be good. I don't need it to be better than The Dark Knight. On that note, I rewatched The Dark Knight last night. Still holds up, still a perfect movie. So I don't know if it can be better than it, but it doesn't need to be. It just needs to be a great Batman movie. And I think we're gonna get it. But, you know, here we go. I guess I'm gonna end it with that. Just, here we go. Also, I'm wearing a Batman shirt. Yeah, so, okay. Let's do the review. Talking about the chain link fence. I don't know why they have a chain link fence, but in fact, they got two. I don't know what's going on in this parking lot. Maybe they're finally making changes to the AMC. Guys, we're talking about the Batman. Oh my God. This movie was so great. I've got to see it again. I've got to see it again. Uh, initial thoughts, leaving the movie. Penguin is one of the best Batman villains ever created, ever. We're gonna continue this in the car because it's cold out here. All right, Batman is an incredible movie. The cinematography is beautiful. The musical score in this movie is perfect. I'm shaking talking about this right now or because it's cold. We live in the Midwest and it's March 1st. So all of the above. Okay, she just turned on the heat. So I'm not gonna do the rest of this review in the heat. I gotta think about it. We're gonna talk about it in the comfort of our warm basement. E, did you like the movie? Yeah. Was good. it phenomenal? It was dark. It's so dark. Okay, the heat's going. I know that's gonna come through terrible on the sound later. So we're gonna talk about this in the basement to be continued. For me, it's like 30 minutes for you guys. Matter seconds. All right, guys, we made it to the basement. Let's talk about the Batman. Before we go any further, I will say no spoilers. I promise you guys, I'm not going to spoil anything. I know I'm dropping this review early. I'm very happy and grateful to be able to drop this review early. So there will be no spoilers. That said, I will drop a spoiler heavy review later on during the week. So watch for that. Probably the end of the week, to be honest, Friday or Saturday. Whenever I get a chance to see this movie again, because I need to see this movie again, I will drop a spoiler heavy review. So till then, I'm going to give you some plot details and I'm going to tell you some things I like about the movie, but I promise no spoils. Right off the bat, guys, you have Batman. In year two of being Batman, of being vengeance, of being the knight, of being Gotham's protector. And he says right off the bat, I can't be everywhere at once. And so I have to pick the places that I need to be the most. And I love that about this Batman. I mean, they kind of touched on that in The Dark Knight. And yeah, I'm going to do some comparisons to The Dark Knight. It's just what was going to happen. They try to do that where the guy in The Dark Knight's like, hey, man, let's do this deal. And they're like, ah, I don't like it tonight. I got to go. But they, they never really touch on it further than that. And when Batman needs to be somewhere, he is there. And I like that about this movie. I like that they dove into... Batman can't necessarily be everywhere at once, so where Batman is, is where he needs to be. But while Batman's doing this, while he's trying to figure himself out, while he's trying to balance between life as Bruce Wayne and as Batman, while all that's going on, you've got Paul Dano's Riddler absolutely terrifying the audience as the Riddler. He is, the best way I can put this, is that it is the serial killer from Seven in a Batman movie, because oh my God, not only does he have a plot, not only does he have a plan, but he is terrifying when he executes those plans. I'll move on, because I don't want to tell you anything more. Let's just get into the things I like. To be completely honest with you, the plot of this movie is amazing. The story, the cinematography, everything about this movie that I can think of off the top of my head, the musical score, there's another one, are just phenomenal. However, the acting in this movie is some of the best acting we've ever gotten in a Batman movie, Heath Ledger not included. I'm just gonna say that because I still think Heath Ledger is just one of the greatest on-screen presents we've gotten in any movie, let alone just as Joker in The Dark Knight. So with that said and out of the way, let's get into the characters of this movie. I want to start with a weird one here, John Turturro as Carmine Falcone. I've never seen this man in a serious role. He's always been a goofball in an Adam Sandler movie to me, or the Transformers movies to me. He brings it, and it's so 
good. You believe him as a mobster. You believe him as the head of a crime family. I was shocked at how much I loved him in this movie. Next up, you've got the Riddler. I already touched on him. He's terrifying. Paul Dano does him perfectly. And I love that he was the serial killer type. But at a certain point in the movie, he snaps. And oh my God, my wife and I talked about this. And she agrees that that moment is one of the best performances as well in a Batman movie. Next up, you've got another one that I did not think I would like, and that is Colin Farrell's Penguin. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Any scene Colin Farrell's Penguin is in, he steals the show. If we could get an entire movie of Batman versus this Penguin, I promise you it will be a phenomenal movie because Colin Farrell's Penguin is like nothing I could have imagined. He is light years, light years, different from Danny DeVito's grotesque penguin, like light years. Okay, next up we've got Zoe Kravitz, Catwoman. Perfection, better than Michelle Pfeiffer, better than Anne Hathaway. This is the best on-screen Catwoman we have ever had because she feels so real. Yes, she knows how to fight and it's pretty awesome, but her mask is just like a hat, a snow cap that she pulled down and then cut eye holes in. It just looks realistic. Her story is awesome. Can't go into it at all because it is spoiler heavy. But when you find out the things about this Catwoman in this movie, they're mind blowing and they are executed perfectly. Zoe Kravitz Catwoman, 10 out of 10. And then you've got Batman's trusty butler, played by Andy Serkis. That's right, the one and only Alfred. As far as on-screen Alfreds go, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I still like Michael Caine more. I felt like he brought more to the table and he brought it better. That's not to say Andy Serkis didn't do a great job. I just didn't buy him necessarily as Alfred. It's probably one of the only characters in this movie that isn't like a pure 10 out of 10 for me. I thought that he was good, but just he wasn't Michael Caine. And it's hard to compare to him. As far as being an Alfred in this movie, he was good. He's not in a lot of the movie. He's in, I don't know, four or five scenes with Batman, maybe, Max, but that's about it. And then we get to the Batman himself, Bruce Wayne, played by Robert Pattinson. Anybody that doubted Robert Pattinson would be anything but phenomenal in this movie is Ron, and he will prove all of you Ron as soon as you see this movie. I promise you, Robert Pattinson is the Batman. Now, is Robert Pattinson the best Batman or on-screen Bruce Wayne we've ever had? I'm not saying that. I don't know if I can compare them after one viewing, but I will tell you that I love what they do with his story in this movie, his art in this movie. Like, Batman comes out in this movie wanting to be vengeance, but he has to go on a path and he has to go on a journey, kind of deciding what kind of person he is going to be, what kind of Bruce Wayne he's going to be. And I love that about this movie. In the end, he makes the perfect decision, but I don't want to spoil that. You'll have to check it out for yourself. Guys, that's everything I can say about this movie without spoiling it. I'm still loud when I talk about this movie because I enjoyed it so much. If you get the chance to check out the Batman this weekend, check it out next weekend, whatever. If you get a chance to check out Batman on the big screen, all I can do is recommend that you see it on the biggest screen possible. You will not be disappointed. I love the Batman. If I was given it a rating of stars, it'd be five stars. If I was given it a letter grade, it'd be A+. I don't know why anybody would walk away from this movie disappointed at all. It's like a thriller, sometimes horror, mobster, and Batman movie. I personally couldn't ask for more. And that's my movie review. If you enjoyed this movie review, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the share button if you want your friends to see this movie review. If you have seen the Batman, or if you're going to see the Batman, put your comments in the comment section down below and let me know your thoughts about this movie. Tell you what, if you haven't seen it yet, leave me your thoughts beforehand. Maybe, uh, where's your anticipation level for this movie? I'm excited to know what you guys are thinking going into this movie. And again, if you've seen this afterwards, well then let me know your thoughts coming out of the movie. Let me know if our thoughts line up and what you think about that car chase scene. Because I didn't even touch on that in this review. We're going to talk about that in the spoiler review because there's some things I want to touch on. I absolutely adore this movie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, after credit scene. Okay, which one of these posters do I switch out? For the, the Batman. One of them's gotta go. Help me out here. These are like my favorite movies of all time. But the Batman's gotta go on this wall. It, it has to.